Also tonight, workers at two Lexington co-op locations in Buffalo have voted to form a union. Channel 2's Dave McKinley spoke with both workers and management today about what it take or what takes place next in the effort to organize. They've got a ways to go, right, Dave? Yeah, employees voted 56 to 20 to form their union through Workers United, the same pro-labor organization that worked with Starbucks employees locally to help them organize. Uh, there had been some contention last month when workers behind the organizing effort had asked management at the Lexington co-ops to voluntarily recognize their union after several of them signed cards indicating their intent to organize. Now, the co-op said no, you need to have a secret ballot election overseen by the National Labor Relations Board so that all employees can vote because that's democracy. Now that that's done, organizers are looking forward to bargaining for a new contract. Many different improvements from wages, negotiating minimum staffing, uh, safety on the workplace, diversity. There's so many things that a co-op um, union could bring to co-op employees. We're excited. We're excited to partner with Workers United to make our great workplace even greater. You what? <laughs> Surprising, right? You know, this is the choice of our staff. It was never our decision. And we wholeheartedly support the decision that our staff have made. Not often that things are uncontentious like that. Uh, though eager to begin their contract negotiations, the workers who led the effort to organize also seem to understand that with both sides rather new to this, it may take several months to hash out the language of a contract and then ratify it. Those who got the ball rolling on all this say they are now in the process of reaching out to their fellow employees to see what their priorities are as they prepare to sit down with management to hammer out their first deal. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.